if I select this polyline here, uh, you can see it looks a little bit different to what it did in the past. Um, we have namely these little mid grips here. Uh, if I select this mid grip and drag it up, where are my midpoints? There we go. Bang bang. Drag it up. Drop it down there. Very nice. Able to stretch very easily. Uh, select. Click on that. Right click. Add a vertex in there. Um, let's throw it in like that. Bam. Uh, vertex down here. And like so. So you can see a polyline is much easier to edit than it ever has been using these tools. Very, very useful. Uh, next up, we're going to have a look at the hatch tool. When we jump into the hatch tool, the first thing that we notice is that it is no longer a dialog box that pops up. It is a hatch creation tab, which makes things much, much easier. Um, another thing to notice is our preview. When I hover into an area uh, and say, yes, I'd like to hatch this area, it gives me a preview of what the hatch is going to look like. Take that down to 50. And say, yes, that looks much better. So I get an indication of what my hatch is actually going to appear like um, before I actually plonk it in there. Um, when I do plonk it in there, though, I get my hatch editor tab. Um, as you can see, I've got a uh, color. I can change the color of the, the hatch, but I can also change uh, its background color. So that's something that we haven't had before. Previously, we would have used a gradient and behind the hatch, but they've combined the two, and the hatch now has a background color that we can use. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly hatch this area here. Right click, select objects, and I might choose a solid color and we'll say blue, beautiful blue color. And there we go, that's looking good. Um, okay, so this is the area of stage one works. We're going to talk about something a little bit different from hatch. When I select my hatch, you'll see up here we have something called hatch transparency. Now, transparency is the, the concept uh, in discussion. It's a new property for AutoCAD objects. Uh, we have a transparency property. So it's a visual property. We have color, we have line type, and we have line weight and tact on the end. Then we have transparency. Now, it's not exactly looking transparent at the moment. This is because we have transparency turned off. Turn that on, and you can see there the transparency is starting to come into effect. Yeah. Uh, so I can increase that transparency uh, and we can see there the desks and whatnot behind it. So no longer are we working just tucking things in behind other objects and working with the draw order. We have a transparency property that we can use and edit to get the effects that we're interested in. Um, it works particularly well with hatches.